sixth grade module one lesson six problem set number one Shelley compared the number of oak trees to the number of maple trees as a part of a study about hardwood trees in a woodlot she counted nine maple trees to every five oak trees later in the year there was a bug problem and many trees died new trees were planted to make sure there was the same number of trees as before the bug problem the new ratio of the number of maple trees to the number of oak trees is 3 to 11. After planting new trees, there were 132 oak trees. How many more maple trees were in the woodlot before the bug problem than after the bug problem? Explain. So we have another before and after scenario. So we have before the bug problem and after. So before, she counted nine maple for every five oak. So we have maple and oak, and it's nine to five. After the maple to oak was three to 11. Now it's saying, after planting the new trees, there were 132 oak trees. So afterwards, this is 132. And there were 11 pieces there. So let's see how much each part is worth. So 11 goes into 13 once. Let me subtract, bring down the two. 11 goes into 22 twice. So each one is worth 12. So all of these individual parts are 12. That means that the individual maple parts here is 12, so that was 36. These are also all 12, and these are all 12. Now let's go back to the original problem and remember what they're asking. We want to know how many more maple trees were in the woodlot before the bug problem than after the bug problem. So how many maple trees, how many more were before than after? Let me change colors so we know how many more were here than here. So before, we had 12 times 9. Let's see what that is. 9 times 2 is 18. So 108. So before there were 108, after there were 36. We want to know how many more were before than after. So we need to subtract minus 36. We get 72. So our answer is there were 72 more maple before the bug problem than after. Number two, the school band is comprised of middle school and high school students, but it always has the same maximum capacity. Last year, the ratio of the number of middle school students to the number of high school students was one to eight. However, this year, the ratio of middle school students to the high school students changed to two to seven. If there are 18 middle school students in the band this year, how many fewer high school students are in the band this year compared to last year? So let's do this year and last year we'll have middle school and high school so last year the number of middle school to high school was one to eight let's do one to eight This year, the middle ratio of middle school students to high school students changed two to seven. We want to know, it says there are 18 middle school students in the band this year. So this 
is 18, which means that each piece, it's two, broken into two parts, each part is 9. We want to know how many fewer high school students are in the band this year compared to last year. So if each part is 9, this would be 9 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, which is 63. So there were 63 this year. And if each part is 9 here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 9 times 8. Is equal to 72 so there were 63 let this year 72 last year so 72 minus 9 or not minus 9 72 minus 63 is equal to 9 so we would say there are 9 fewer high school students in the band. This year than last year. 